This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Netflix. Hey, what's up guys? Soldier Knows Best here. As you can probably tell by my background, I'm not in my normal office where I do my videos. I've been traveling here for a little while with the Army doing some training, but I'm still going to do my best to bring you some of the latest tech videos. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the new features that are coming to Facebook. So Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook just announced all these new features, and I'm going to show you the one big one, which is called Timeline, which is going to be your new profile. And I'm going to tell you how to get this here uh, at the end of the video, but right now I'm going to give you a quick little tour of it. So the first thing you notice, well, let me go to full screen mode because I'm on my little itty-bitty 11-inch MacBook Air here. I need, I, need, I need my glasses to see. But anyway, um, the first thing you notice is this really big picture right here at the top. This is called your cover. So this is a picture where you can uh, change it to an existing photo that you already have uploaded on Facebook, or you can upload a picture uh, specifically for this cover picture. And uh, you probably want something that looks really good. It's very high resolution because I think this is a really good representation of your of your page itself, of, your, of who you are. Now, I don't know whether this camera represents who I am. Um, but anyway, well, maybe because it's black, but anyway, um, but you can change this picture to whatever you want to. Now, right below this, you'll find um, the uh, common information that you want to find from a Facebook page, you know, uh, what they do for a living, where they go to school at, and yada, 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 where they live. To write it that, you'll find the friends, photos, and the maps. Now, I'm going to go to this map section real quick. And uh, so this is going to, where you're going to be able to add some life events uh, to this map and people will be able to browse around it. Now, I just recently visited uh, Berlin, Germany, so I added the um, life event for that. And you can see a picture that I added and I took right from my pictures that I already have on Facebook itself and added a little tag there. And to the right here, you can add how I many different things. So if you broke a bone or had surgery somewhere, you can add that to this map if you wanted to. Uh, learn a new language, uh, yada, 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 you get the point. And uh, there'll be this, this, um, these stories and these life events right down here. Now, this map section hasn't been working all that great. Again, this is still beta. All right, so now we'll be back at the profile slash timeline page here. Now, if you start scrolling down, you start getting a little sense of the of the new type of layout, too. And I think it's actually pretty cool. I, I like the layout. Um, the pictures here are, are highlighted, which a lot of people go to Facebook just for to see the new pictures that people have uploaded. And so I have this event right here where I went to the football game between the Rams and the Eagles. And I have the pictures there. Now, this is something that I want people to really focus on if they come to my page. Uh, I can actually star this uh, this um, this post and it'll make it featured on my timeline. So I hit the star button and it'll kind of just maximize it on my timeline here. So boom, if you're scrolling down, you're gonna you're gonna see this. You're not gonna miss this um, post now. If I don't want this right here, I can hit the star button and it'll just shrink it right back um, to normal. And I don't know whether it's gonna. There it is. I uh, didn't do that before, but it just did it. So anyway, um, you have your, your photo albums here. I really like this picture of me. If you click on the picture, boom, there it is. You can see it just in the regular photo viewer. And so as you scroll down here, you can kind of see you, you're going through the history of that person's page very quickly. And you can see here on the, on the right-hand side, this is something that's going to be static as you scroll down. Uh, you can break it down to your month. You want to go to see everything that happened in August if you wanted to. Um, and also, too, you can go down and, and see things that happened in July or in the early 2010 or even the 2000s. And you can even go back to when you were born. It's going to see what happened when I was born. Yes, that happened. Yes, that happened. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, you can kind of, you can really see a person's um, history in just a matter of seconds, in a matter of minutes, really, if you want to see everything that person has done on Facebook. So, I mean, really, other than that, this is that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest change is just this overall layout. I mean, everything else is pretty much the same. You can add a comment and I mean, you update your status. I mean, I mean, nothing else really to show here. So this is the new timeline page for Facebook. Now, if you want to get this yourself, I put a link down below. And you can click that. It'll take you to an article with the step-by-step -step process uh, that TechCrunch did. And it's a really easy process. You just got to become a developer on Facebook, which is actually just a click. And uh, then you got to start an application and do a couple things with that. And then in a couple minutes, you'll have an invite to go ahead and try out the new timeline page on Facebook if you want to. Um, so anyway, the link is down below. I'm not going to walk you through. That's going to be too long. Um, but now my overall thoughts about this new page uh, for Facebook, I think it's pretty cool. I like the layout. And again, I think it's a lot of information that you can digest in a very quick uh, amount of time there. And uh, some people say, well, that's too much information. I don't want people to be able to scroll through my information like that. Well, really, it's not really anything different that you don't have right now on your profile page. It's just in a different format. And uh, I think it's pretty cool because in just in a matter of seconds, like I said, I was able to go back and see things I was doing in college, how, how, how stupid, I was, some of the stupid things I was able to do that some people may not want to see, but um, very easily, very quickly. And I was able to see some of my status updates back then and the, the type of the threads and conversation that I was having with people back then very easily. So I like the new layout. I think it's, I think it's uh, it only took me a, just really a couple of minutes and it's already grown on me. And I really like the little cover photo, but I think this is going to be one of those features that this, I think this is the biggest change that Facebook has ever done to their platform. And I think once people, uh, you know, again, it's going to be a backlash um, to it, um, to the change itself. But I think after a few days, after a couple of weeks, people will start to grow on this new Facebook profile page. So that's my thoughts on it. Uh, but before we head out of here, guys, let's go and take one. Let's look at our sponsor for this video.
Now, the sponsor for this video is Netflix. You know, I've talked about Netflix before. You know, I'm a really big fan of their instant streaming service where you can stream from thousands of movies straight to your Xbox, to your PS3, to your iPhone, to your cell phone, to your tablet, to your computer, to your laptop, almost any electronic device out there. You can stream movies directly to it. And it's really cool because if you're one of the unlimited members, you can stream as many movies as you want uh, for a very low price. And just the convenience to be able to start watching the movie right when you're at home. Don't got to get in your car, drive somewhere else, pick up a DVD or a Blu-ray. You can watch the movies right in your comfort in your home on your your system of your choice so if you haven't tried out netflix already please go to netflix.com forward slash soldier you get a free 30-day trial of the unlimited streaming service we can stream as many movies as you want again go to netflix.com forward slash soldier all right guys i really am interested to see what you think about this new facebook change a new timeline please leave a comment down below i know some of you already got it uh, but if you don't have it, or what's, or what's keeping you from switching over to it, uh, let me know. Let me know your, your positive thinkings about it or your negative thinkings about this new Facebook change. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. Peace.